Go ahead, start whatever you want to say. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, starting with the floor here, OSB floor, we got a quarter inch uh, sheetrock on the uh, walls and the ceilings for materials in this burn cell. Uh, we got a, a wooden coffee table. We put some, some materials on here to show different uh, burn patterns. We have glass. Uh, this is made of metal here. Not even sure what that is. Um, a plastic bowl here small piece of plastic. Uh, this, is, this is a plastic uh, Advil bottle. Um, and then we have the glass, the glasses, the wine glasses uh, set in configuration to show movement and intensity and directional fire patterns coming from this corner. So fire is going to be starting uh, next to the wicker basket and the upholstered chair. Um, upholstered recliner is going to be the largest fuel load in this room through a, a a blanket and a, and a small pillow on top of that. The whisk, wicker basket is empty. Um, we have uh, some uh, cloth material sitting on top of that. We set an iron. Nothing's plugged in. This, this cell is not energized. Um, this is going to get the students starting to look at some of the electrical wiring that's that's in, in the room. A uh, lamp with no bulb, um, also not energized. We put a, uh, some more material on top uh, to create a little bit of confusion there. Um, we're putting pictures up on the walls to show uh, protected areas. And uh, we have pictures here. We put a picture on, on this wall here. And then uh, one behind you is a, is a mirror. Um, they're, they're made of different materials. The glass mirror is going to show um, patterns too, but we'll show that in a second. In this corner, we have a, a wooden nightstand. And on top of it is a TV, also not plugged in, not energized. A steel, steel box with a plastic uh, DeWalt charger inside of it. Um, back over on this wall over here, this is also going to show a protected area. The glass will um, fracture with, with the different temperature changes in here, so we'll show um, patterns as well. Once this thing is burned, we'll uh, have the fire guys put this out. We're going to move all the furniture outside, and the students are going to uh, have to put this back in, into place. What do you want to do about the light? Yes, I'm sorry. And above this is, uh, is our, our light, not plugged in. It's got a, it does have a bulb in it, so hopefully we can get the, uh, the filament or the glass to kind of point in the direction of travel and use that as an indicator as well. Um, we installed smoke, smoke detectors in, in both cells. We have one here, uh, tested it, it's operational. So we're gonna use that as documentation um, for activation of the smoke detector and see if it can survive the amount of fire we're going to put in this burn cell. The burn cell is not going to go to flashover. Um, we're going to put this out hopefully right before flashover and preserve all the patterns for the students. So uh, whenever we're ready, Let me just we can light one. this off. Let me just get one last swing. All right. Ready? Some of these inside of here, paper materials, cardboard. We have some foam products. Uh, this is going to be our so first fuels ignited here was a was a piece of paper. Our fuel source was an open flame. So we're going to let this build up some energy here. Hopefully, it'll be enough heat energy to get the wicker basket going, and then the uh, the couch next to it. Detector activation within a few seconds. We got open flame. Starting to creep up the, the walls there. Get some good heat energy. Heat flux is bouncing off the wall, off the couch. Normally we'd start this in a corner, but since it's between two pieces of different materials, wicker basket and upholstered furniture, we should get good fire travel. All right, now we're getting some smoke production off of the recliner. Starting to build up to the upper areas of the ceiling. We have flames almost to the ceiling now. Now we're getting a hot gas layer. About three, four feet from the ceiling, starting to build up. Now we have 
smoke started to exit the, the burn cell. We got a good gas layer right in front of the, uh, or about two feet down from the doorway. Cap seems to be uh, well involved now. Now we're starting to get off gassing from the lamp inside there. Smoke detector still activating. We just had our ceiling light fall from the ceiling. Let me step back here. We'll see if we can get some rollover out of it. Looks like the about half the uh, recliner is involved with fire, the lamp and the wicker basket are well involved. Got a lot of smoke, a lot of pressure, turbulent smoke coming out of the room. Getting some drop down from probably the pick inside. That was the uh, mirror. Now we're getting some flame. Getting some rollover outside of the uh, cell. Looks like we got the uh, surface materials on side or on top of the coffee table igniting. We have some drop down and some burn patterns going on on the floor inside there as well. That was probably the, the, uh, the glass mirror falling. So in terms of heat release rate and fuel loads, uh, we'll see if this is enough to, to get this room to go to flashover. Looks like we have fire on the floor. There we go. Some entrainment, yep, down below. And now we got the top of the coffee table and the floor on fire. All right, guys, you can go ahead and just steam it now. Just knock down there. Leaving some uh, got the smoke turning to steam now. Smoke just went from black to white. Looks like they cooled the majority of the uh, the room. Material still on fire. Going to be probably looks like a wicker basket in the back as well as the upholstered chair. And you can see we still have three burning back there in their our area of origin. Coffee table would have got going. 